Hey guys, Joe on it coming in. Got another battle replay here for you on Total War Rome 2. We do have a 4v4 on the settlement of Athens. And the town center for Athens is actually over there. But uh, yeah, well, what a messed up smiley face that was. But I don't even think we're really going to see the uh, town center. Because look at all of this cavalry, elephants, everything. God. Oh, this is going to be brutal. All right, so the f there are four Rome armies. Uh, the leaders of those armies are Dreslo, Tawazi, Tawzi, maybe, Onyx, and C Cub, Cab Victor 2010, I think. And they have a bunch of Romans. They have, you know, Syrians and Triarii and some armored legionnaires, I think, Praetorian Guard, a bunch of stuff. I put the armies up on the, uh, on the list there, so you guys can see that. And cavalry is already coming outside. We're going to slow it down. Let's take a look at the defending armies. First, looking at Parthia being commanded by Paul the Gaul, and he has brought his general, is a noble horse archer. Uh, he also has one unit of royal cataphracts, three noble blood cavalry, three Persian cavalry, two Indian war elephants, and two... Oh, mercenary Indian war elephants, and two regular Indian war elephants. Then we do have another Parthian force over... I can't tell who's who, because everybody's kind of stacked up together. Another Parthian force is being commanded by Branthon. He has brought three Median Cavalry, three Eastern Cataphracts, three Royal Cataphracts, one of those being the General, two Parthian Swordsmen, one Sarmatian Lancer, four units of Sarmatian Horse Archers, and one unit of the Indian War Elephants. Um, another Parthian force is Expert Gamer, being uh, five, two, five, six. He has brought Generals of Royal Cataphract, three Persian Cavalry, two Camel Cataphracts, two Indian War Elephants, two, one Syrian Armored Elephant, and four units of Noble Horse Archers. And then we have Nurgle's Plague Spawn. That kind of sounds like a Warhammer 3 thing. Uh, but he has brought four units of Parthian Swordsmen, four Royal Cataphracts, one of those being his general, four Eastern Cataphracts, and four units of the Sarmatian Horse Archers. But all right, there you go. Army comp's done. I don't know who is who as far as the defenders. A side of the guy with the yellow border. But all right, already coming outside. Here they come. Mercenary Persian Cavalry making their tear across the battlefield. We have some... Uh, Armored Legionnaires were about to have the beginning of a really bad day. Really, really bad day. Triari, I actually... S mm, no, Triari is going to get hammered. Yep. Second charge coming in on the back there, but do have a unit of Hastati coming up. Get Ooh, nice. Killed five of them, and they're actually going to get stuck in melee there. So the Triari, the Triari Hastati combination might actually do a pretty good amount of damage. Triari there with seven kills. The Hastati here with... 10, but more cavalry coming around. Camel Cataphracts making their way, and that might not be good. They may actually suffer a lot of damage. Oh no, the Praetorians turned around. Oh no. Oh my god. That Praetorian guard probably should have not turned their back, because they might have been able to get their Pila off, or their Javelins, or Pila, Pilum, Pila, whatever it is. All right, let's get back over here. Let's see what's going on. Anything really charging? No, but we actually have a Rome player. Look at that right there. Perfect. Rome did not stop. He got to the walls. He's trying to get his army up onto the walls. Definitely a good thing there. Let's take a look and see how this player is. Oh, my God. Just a mess. Just an absolute mess. Indian War Elephants in there. 60 kills. Another unit of the Indian War Elephants there with 72. Cataphracts and Persian Cavalry just stomping over everything. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, damage. 111 there. 86 there. Another unit of his, of his uh, Syrian armored elephants actually making their way over here. They have not gotten involved just yet, but this Roman player is just... Yeah, this is, this is what happens when you attack alone. Look at all those Roman banners wavering. Wavering away. 145 on the elephants there. This elephant here with 89. Another unit of elephants closing in on 200 kills. Massive amounts of damage. Uh, but I have to definitely say, this Roman player, he, he, he tried to get to the walls. He tried to get to the walls, which is definitely what you want to try and do. It's what you want to do. Not even try. What you want to do. Indian War Elephants coming over here. Going to collide into some more of the Praetorian Guard. Looks like Rome sent a lot of their fine troops here. Finest troops, if you will. Uh, but uh, Parthia counteracted them. Yeah, they, they definitely did a lot of damage. Uh, more Roman units over here, wavering away. 247 on a unit of Indian War Elephants. Another unit of the Persian Cavalry coming in, closing in on 100 kills for them. 70, now 80 kills. Another unit of the Elephants here, 230. 
definitely doing damage. Uh, this Roman player kind of getting surrounded a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Meaning Cavalry and Mercenary Sarmatian Lancers coming around. That unit of Cavalry here in the middle, though, nice charge. He's actually going to catch out the Roman general. Big charge by the Median Cavalry. They have taken a lot of losses, though, with zero kills. That's actually really crazy. More Pelum coming in. Pila, Pelum, whatever it's called. Big time throws there. Getting some kills, getting some kills. Let's see, 15, 18 for that unit. Another unit coming in. Armored Legionnaires with 11 kills. But so far over here, oh no. Elephants and archers. When the elephants are this close to the archers, it's a bad thing. It's a really bad thing. 216 kills for that unit of elephants there. But so far, it looks like this Parthian force is kind of really getting beaten up. 317 for that elephant unit there. 338, now 340, closing in on 350. Maybe there's still eight elephants left in the unit. But they're actually doing a pretty good job raising banner, getting all of his units together. Archers firing. One of the units of elephants actually just got taken out there, I think. Yeah, final unit, final elephant right there just got taken out. So very, very good so far by these Roman players here. Let's take a look and see how this guy's doing. So far, he is doing an okay job. Looks like he's doing pretty good. He's got a nice bit of a uh, of a line here. His elephant, I'm sorry, his uh, general bodyguard here, unfortunately, really getting hammered down. Here comes the Royal Cataphract General, going to finish that Roman general off. Yeah, and getting into the Heavy Onager crew. I don't even think they had a chance to fire. And, oh boy, now we got the uh, Sarmatian Horse Archers going to start doing that Canterbrian circle. Oh, no, they pulled off of it. I thought they were just going to keep going. Uh, but over here, yeah, this Roman player is gone. That quickly, guys. Five minutes into the replay, and one of the Roman forces is already gone. Look at that elephant. 674 kills. 328. Uh, that is another... Indie. Oh, no, that one's getting dropped down a little bit. Let's see. 279 for that unit, but so far, 680 kills for that unit. This elephant here with 418. The noble horse archer general starting to fire there. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of that army. Don't attack alone. Don't attack alone. I know, you know, everybody's like, oh, it's just Parthia. They have Parthian sword, uh, Parthian swordsmen. No, they have, they have cavalry and elephants, and they can do a lot of damage. But look, see, right here, this is just do this. Keep going, keep going. Knock down the wall sections. Get inside. Actually, I wouldn't even knock down the wall sections though. Probably would be the best thing for them to do is just try and get inside the walls as fast as possible. The rest of this infantry, get them up there. Get them up towards the walls. Get them up towards the walls. I know I make it sound a lot easier than it is. I've, trust me, guys. I've been sallied out on many times. Many, 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 many times. And it sucks. It definitely sucks. It's very demoralizing. Don't stop playing. Don't stop trying. I mean, that this Roman player, unfortunately, just got completely mauled. There was a lot of elephants, a lot of cataphracts that came out over here. So that, unfortunately, he took a lot of damage uh, to the point where he doesn't have an army left. So, yeah, he's got a final unit there. African elephants going out of control. Getting shot. 42 kills. They have a silver chevron somehow, so I'm not really sure what they killed. But, uh, yeah. A lot of damage done. A lot of damage done. Actually, I don't even think... Did he get, yeah, he's got one unit of elephants left. All the rest of his elephants were taken out. So, I mean, I guess this Roman player, you could put that to him. That he uh, was able to do that. But, alright. Actually, this is really good. This is really good for Rome, at least this Roman player, getting all of his guys up onto the wall, or at least the remaining troops that he had. Uh, back over on this side, the, these Parthian forces actually having a little bit of a difficult day. Canterbury and Circle now being activated again here for some more of the Sarmatian horse archers. Swirling around, doing that circle dance thing that they do. Uh, these units did not get close enough. Oh, why did he hit the wall? Why did he hit the tower? I mean, the, the wall section there should have just kept going to the walls themselves. Uh, it does actually have a unit inside, unit of Ivocati Cohort. They only lost two men. Very lucky there. Uh, a uh, but, yeah, unlucky here for the Histadi. Yeah, medium cavalry there, getting a good charge. Uh, more of the, actually, more of the cavalry over here. So, Mason Lancers, let's see what they got. 37 kills. This unit of medium cavalry with only two. They are going to have to try and pull away. But there is a lot of Rome still over here. This could end up actually being really good. The rest of this Roman force right here needs to go. Needs to get up to the wall. I mean, maybe send some stuff over here, try and set up a little bit of a defensive line on their way to the wall. 
But he's got a lot of troops left here. Look at all of that Roman infantry right there. Legionnaires, Legionnaires, Praetorian Guard, Praetorian Guard, Triarii, Pre, uh, Armored Legionnaires, Evocate Cohort, Armored Legionnaires. Definitely has a lot left. Definitely has a lot left. Uh, this Parthian force looks like, for the most part, he's pulled back inside the settlement. The unit of African elephants just kind of still hanging out over here. I'm not sure what their plan is. There's only three of them left, though, so probably just going to sit there and not to be able to do a whole lot of anything. But it looks like this Parthian player is actually going to come send the rest of his forces that are outside of the settlement around over here to try and help out. We have a lot of horse archers over here now, though. So it does definitely looks like the battle is going to slow down. Uh, I don't think this side did as well as the 1v1 that went on over on the other side. But this Roman player, start moving, bud. No, not that way. <laughs> don't go that way. Go this way. Go towards the walls. Go towards the walls. Capture up these gates. Maybe use just use the towers. Don't make any breaches in the walls. Less opportunity for the cavalry to get back inside the settlement. Hit Brian Circle again, just being used. 61, 55, 113, and 63. Ooh, noble horse archer. Yeah, okay, they're going to get away. I was going to say, you were about to get a charge there by some Evocate cohort. These guys just standing here. Go. Go, 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 go. Get up to the wall. Get up to the wall. All right, we got some attacking Testudo here, but unfortunately they are walking away from the direction the, the arrows are coming from, so they are going to take losses. Yeah, they're definitely going to take losses. Look at that guy right there. Oh, he had like five or six arrows in his back. He's rolling. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, big charge. Noble horse archers being used as melee cavalry. Not exactly what they're intended to be used for, but they actually have, look, look at the stats right there. They actually have some really good stats for melee, so very nicely done. 101 kills, but look at this Roman force right here. Keep going, bud. Get to the wall. Get to the wall. Wall's being broken down. Okay. Only It's going to be only two seconds. Two sections they get knocked down, though. This last tortoise does not look like they're going to be used. Noble horse archers again. Oh, no. Those are Sarmatian horse archers. Nice charging onto the back of Hestati. Very well done. Uh, this Roman... Okay, so this Roman player is inside. He's not really moving, though. I think he's very nervous to try and make a, make his way forward because he knows that there's a lot more cavalry over on this from, from, from this side that came back inside. There's no way he doesn't know that. But yeah, this... I mean, this still... The balance of power is still in favor of the attacking Roman player here. Roman players, I should say. Yep, another unit of cavalry just got taken out. What was that? Sarmatian lancers? Oh, no. Sarm Sarmatian horse archers. 126... More Romans making their way towards the wall, though. I mean, you guys can definitely start making your way inside the settlement. But you have to be very, very, very cautious. Getting into the settlement, I know I was saying, just get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Getting inside the settlement, definitely a good thing. Uh, they will have to block off these two breach points there, though, that were made by the tortoises. But just get it. Oh, no. Oh, Sarmatian horse archer. 69 giggity. There you go. Somebody made a comment the other day. There has not been very many giggities. So there you go. I was finally able to get one out there. 73 kills. Looks like that unit is going to be taken out. Final horse archer right there. Still 73 kills. No. He broke. Oh, and he died. Oh. Ouch. Got stabbed off of his horse there. Uh, okay, so the Sarmatian horse archers look like maybe they're going to team up. Are we teaming up? Noble horse archers in melee there. Taking on some Ivacati and a Triarii. Just breaking that Triarii unit. And I think we're about to see... Oh, no. Noble Blood Cavalry coming back out over onto this side. Okay, so this Roman player kind of still just hanging out here. He's actually sending a unit of Hestati down over here. I think they're going to try and take on this uh, this Eastern Ballista. It's got one dude. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. Brave man. Oh, is he charging? He is charging. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my God. Oh, that was brutal. That that was that was brutal. That was that was brutal. Ow. Really, really a whole lot of ow. I think he took a javelin to the face or a peel it to the face. Uh general, Roman general, kind of just getting left out there. That definitely sucks. I mean, look at I mean, there's so much Rome inside here. If this army had just kept pressing up to get inside. Oh. 
16.58 left in the battle replay, guys. Well, another, I mean, don't attack alone. Just don't attack alone. Oh, God, another huge charge. Noble Blood Cavalry, over 100 kills. East of Counterfrax there, closing, crossing over the 200 threshold. 241 for these Noble Horse Archers. Rome is coming back outside. Oh, no. Oh, no. Persian Cavalry. Going to hammer in. Yep. Not Actually, not that good of a charge. Not as good of a charge as I thought they were going to do. This Persian Cavalry is going to come back out. Yep, they're going to come out through the walls here. I think that was the plan, actually. Maybe using that first unit, which is kind of like to give a little bit of a buffer zone for this Persian Cavalry. who's going to charge in, but they are taking some peeling damage. They took a little bit of peeling damage. They didn't take a whole lot. I thought maybe they were going to take a lot more. 116 for that Persian Cavalry there. This Persian Cavalry is still trying to get outside of the walls. 23 for that unit. Uh, but the Noble Horse Archers are getting in here. The Sarmatian the Horse Archers getting in here as well. Noble Blood still in the fight. 54 kills for them. They are definitely killing off some of this cavalry. This is melee cavalry, though, so they're going to be able to do some uh, okay as far as defending themselves. This unit, not so much, though. Eastern Counterfrax, 21 melee defense. As long as the longer they stay in melee, the uh, the faster they're going to drop. They're already down to almost half the unit left. 286 kills, though. More archers coming, more archer cav, I should say. Sarmatian horse archers charging in there, being followed up by two units of the Persian cavalry there. See what these guys are at. 124-38. Yeah, I mean this Roman player right here. I think he's just waiting. Very unfortunate that he's just hanging out here. I mean, but he doesn't really have very much to do. He doesn't really have much very much to do. Uh this could have been this could have uh, I I really think this has a chance to maybe go in the opposite direction, especially if the attackers could get up here and be able to start firing down into that town center. I really think that could have done a, a, a world of difference. Could have been a world of difference. Eastern Counterfrax getting in here. Trample being used. Stomping down on some Mastati. We have Praetorian Guard making their way over here. Praetorian, Evocate, and Armored Legionnaires making their way over here. So this Eastern Counterfrax unit would behoove them to get back out of the combat. Uh, this Roman player definitely wants to capture up that tower. Ca capture up that gate, I should say. See, now Rome over here, they're doing good. I mean, it doesn't look like they're doing good because everything is just kind of crushed. But they're starting to fight back. They're starting to really fight back. Royal Cataphracts there, exhausted, exhausted. See, all these horses, they're completely exhausted. So that is a really good sign. 175 there, 201, 155. Roman players starting to press some more of his infantry down over here. This guy is just completely stationary now. I mean, he... Could have maybe tried to use the walls to get up over here to his allies to help out. I know there's a lot of cavalry sitting right here, though. And I think they are all visible. Yeah, that, oh, that's four units of Royal Cataphracts. That's four units of Royal Cataphracts. Oh, my God. I don't even think they got involved yet. Yeah, zero, 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 and zero. So four goose eggs right there not getting involved in the fight. Uh, 1325 still left in the battle replay. Decent amount of Rome still coming in here. There was a lot more over here just a few minutes ago, though. For glory! Yuvakati Cohort taking on some mercenary Persian Cavalry. Another unit of Persian Cavalry getting away. They are going to charge in. Yes, they are. And another absolute just hammer charge there. Persian Cavalry, very nice, good charge. Very nice and good. Very nice and good. Let's we'll say that. Very nice and good. Uh, 80 kills now for the Persian Persian Cavalry. This unit kind of... Yomar Legionnaires. Not really sure where they're trying to go. I think that maybe they're trying to charge into this Persian Cavalry. But they are about to get slammed. Again. But I mean, all the Horse Cavalry is really tired. Yeah, exhausted, exhausted. I think everything is either winded or exhausted. That's actually a win right there. Rome, keep pressing into the settlement. Keep pressing into the settlement. Back over here. Oh, the, oh no. The, oh, what is this? Eastern Cataphracts and a Royal Cataphract General. Starting to take some losses, though. The General is definitely losing the fight. Keeping them longer and longer in melee. Not a good idea. Here we go. Eastern Cataphracts completely exhausted. 138 kills. What are they charging into? They're charging into Armored Legionnaires. And they did that. And they're still doing that. Big time stamp down. Big time stomp. 
153 kills now. The general over here, yeah, he's stuck in. This general is stuck in here, and he's losing. He is losing something fierce. Yeah, he is. He is definitely losing. Down to 32. Keep fighting, boys. 91, 50. Come on. Oh, the Royal Counterfract General's breaking. Now, I know I'm making it, like, really exciting, but there's still four units of Royal Counterfracts right there who have not moved. Uh, back outside over here. Looks like the Roman player is still fighting for his life. Noble Blood Cavalry charging in. Royal Cataphracts and Royal Cataphracts still charging around over here. 255, 241. Noble Blood here with 72 and 56. Did I say 56? Yeah. So Noble Blood Cavalry actually not getting a whole lot of cavalry, a whole lot of kills. Uh, but now Parthia is going to fall the rest of these forces back inside. As this Roman player is getting in, definitely wants to get over here and try to meet up with his ally. This Roman force is actually still pretty strong. Still pretty strong. Oh, what is that? What is that? East Cataphracts. There's archers up here. They have ammo. Why are they not shooting? Fire at the Eastern Cataphracts as they're coming around. Especially if they're coming around this way. Shoot them. Shoot them. Unless they dismount. If they dismount and get up there, I think the Cataphracts could win that fight. But being down here, the cavalry really can't get up there. I don't think they really can get up there. So this Roman archer unit right here is missing out on some kills. They only lost 11 men. So they could definitely be firing. Uh, back over here, I just saw some more chevrons being earned. 206 for some Eastern Cataphracts. Roman player getting up onto the wall there. They have solidified the gate towers, which is huge. Uh, but the Roman... Actually, this guy is now slowly starting to make his way down over here towards his ally. And balance of power is definitely in favor of the defenders. But the attackers still have some archers left. 21 kills, 9 kills, 0 kills. And he still has this unit there with only 5. So they definitely still have some range left. Let's take a look and see what the defenders have ranged-wise. I don't really know if they have very much. Got the Noble Horse Archer there with 12 kills. He's probably got ammo left. Uh, 115, 141. Yeah, there's not a lot of archers left. Not a lot of archer cav left, I should say, for the defenders. We had a couple of generals die as well. Bit of a slow time here now. Let's get a little bit of a fast forward, see what goes on. Yeah, Parthia just falling back. Maybe they're just going to fall back the rest of this and just keep them over here by the town center. But hopefully these Roman players keep going. I mean, there's, there's a decent amount of infantry. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did you come down? Why did you come down that way? If you wanted to come down, you could have just come back right up onto the wall where you were at and walk yourself back down the wall there to get back involved with your army. But nope, nope, that archer unit's going to die. This unit, start firing. Get them. At least don't let your brothers just die for no reason. Nope, they're just dying for no reason. Eastern Cataphracts, having a good time. We're having a good time, yes? Yes, they are having a good time. 122 kills. There goes the Syrian Archer. 69 giggity. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Just absolutely brutal. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think these four Roman players really thought that they were going to be fighting some swordsmen and hoplites and other melee infantry that the uh, that Parthia can bring. I don't think they expected four, f basically four full armies sallying out on them. I really don't think they expected that. A lot of elephants died over here, though. This player lost, I think he lost all of his elephants over here. But he definitely, obviously did a ton of damage. Finishing off, killing a lot of this Roman army. I think he killed the whole Roman army. I don't think there was anything left over there. Uh, back over here, these Roman, this Roman player is starting to get away from the walls a little bit. I know I'm still on fast forward, but there's really not much going on. Uh, Armored Legionnaires coming around. I hope they do not try and make the mistake of coming over here. Just stay together. I mean, let's see. We have 76, 77, 109, 64, and 122. So probably not a lot of peeling left for this army. But they are about to get charged. No, they're not going to get charged. They have the gate backing them up, so maybe that's not why. He, maybe that's why he is not moving forward. I should say. Uh, another unit of Syrians. Why, why do they keep coming down off the towers, off the walls, uh, where where there's no, where there's no infantry to defend them? I don't understand. 
I don't understand. Triarii now turning their back. We've got another unit of Eastern Cataphracts making their way over 139 kills for them. Uh, Royal Cataphracts, zero kills for either one of them. Definitely want to watch your rear line, though. We just got some Triarii right there, which is good. Uh, these units, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, we got to slow it down. We've got some hammer charges coming. Persian Cavalry, Noble Blood Cavalry coming in on the back of these Roman units. And just again, massive mauling. Oh, Jesus. So brutal. So brutal. Oh, they killed one. Oh, they killed another one. I think that guy actually got dragged off of his horse. 402 left, and this looks like there. This is. Yeah. So this Roman force is going to get taken out. Which is really just going to only leave this guy here by himself. I'm not saying that the attackers would have won. I'm not saying that at all. Um, but the quickness that units. Actually, this guy right here. Got so much of his army inside. I don't know how much he started out with, obviously. Uh, but he had so much that he got inside, and then he just stopped. Just stopped. I want to say... See, cavalry sallyouts, they just... They can be really bad. They can be really good, or they can be really bad. And this one was definitely in the pretty bad category if you were an attacker. Because they definitely got stomped. Yeah, they got murdered. Two and a half minutes left in the battle replay. Uh, we have a unit of mercenary Persian cavalry over here. 168 kills, wavering away. Probably just going to sit back. Only three of them left. Uh, but now the Parthia is going to start surrounding this Roman force. Got some Praetorian guards wavering away. There they go. 114 kills. Triarii there forming into that defensive Testudo that they get, which is definitely a good thing. But, oh, not good. Not good. Royal cataphracts, rear charges. Frontal charges now by some more Royal Cataphracts. Noble Blood Cavalry getting into the accident again. Minute 17 left. And that's going to be it. Yeah, that's it. That's all. Elephants again coming back over here. So he did actually still have one unit of elephants. 436 kills. And they are just going to stomp down on some uh, some Romans. Oh, we lost another one. Now they're out of control and they're gone. So those elephants are dead. But they definitely did a good, a good amount of damage. And yeah, we're just going to keep having cycle charges. Royal Cataphracts coming in. Noble Horse Archer General coming in. And 20 seconds left in the battle. And there you go. Rome wavering away. So, guys, don't attack by yourself. Unless you like how this Roman player was, where he got into the settlement really fast. Don't attack by yourself. Let's take a look at the kills. Paul the Gaul here, commanding Parthia. 3,160 kills. Thanks about it. He sent the battle replay in. Thank you very much, bud, for sending it on over. Uh, 130 with his general, his elephants, 336, 478, 690, and 283, 33. Then some of his cavalry there. This is the uh, Sarmatian Lancers, I believe. Prussian cavalry, sorry. 140, 168. Noble Blood, 151, 220. And another unit of Royal, Royal Cataphracts there, 128. Nurgle's Plague Spawn here, 1180. Uh, Cataphracts, 128. Royal Cataphracts, 127, 126 on the Easterns there. 206, 161. Horse Archers, 126. Parthian Swordsman didn't get involved. Expert Gamer, 5265, 2,168 kills. 67 on the General. His Elephants, great day. 367, 348, 321. Uh, rest of his army, 138 on a Persian Cavalry. Noble Horse Archers, 178, 283, 144. And then we have Branth with the other Parthian Force, 2,469 kills. 407 on his Cataphract General. Indian War Elephants, 151. Rest of his Eastern Cataphracts here, 300, 163, 178. Uh, Media Cavalry didn't do a whole lot. Sarmatian Horse Archers, 118, 123, 144, 120. His Royal Cataphracts, 365, 251. Again, Parthian Swordsman did nothing. Dreslo with one of the Roman forces, 1,083. Second most kills on his team. Uh, let's see, did he get 154? Some Armored Legionnaires, 135, 131. Uh, Evo Cadi got crushed. Histadi got crushed. One of his Praetorian Guard there with 113. Tauzi, Tauzi, I think. 272, uh, let's see, anything over 100, no, not really, he got mushed. Uh, Onyx here, 1155, he has to have, yes, so Armored Legionnaires, 113, Evocati Cohort, 102, 183, there you go, almost 200 kills. 
Uh, Praetorian Guard 105, 114, and that's going to be the end there. And then we have CNB Victor 2010 with 312 kills, and his top unit in total, 42 with the Elephants. Yeah, his top kill was 42 with his Elephants. So, all right, guys, there you go. End of the battle replay. I think the video is going to be shorter than the actual replay was because of the fast forwarding that I did. But all right, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the content around. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one. Hey, guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.